right, in this video, we're going to show that this set is not a subspace of R2. So in this problem, they tell us it is not a subspace. We essentially just have to figure out why it fails. So we wanna, first of all, make sure that we're clear about what we're looking at here. Our set is a set of vectors. So we can think about those as two by one matrices, or we could also perhaps think of those a little bit geometrically, like a vector X, I, plus y, j, uh, but the condition here is that x and y are even positive whole numbers. All right, and then our set of scalars is just the set of real numbers. There could be a lot of reasons that this is not a subspace, but we have that subspace theorem that says that if we have additive closure and scalar multiplication closure, that those two things together imply that a set is a subspace. So we know that if both of those held, this would be a subspace. And so if W is not a subspace, then one or the other of these things has to fail. So that kind of narrows it down. I could look at really lots of different conditions that might fail, but because we're told here that it is not a subspace, we know that one of these two conditions at least has to fail. All right, and so in trying to think about which of these might fail or which ones might hold, you can look at some examples but remember that an example cannot show that something is true because you would have to check all possible examples, but an example can show something is false. So if you're not sure and you're just playing with it, you might write down some examples of things that would be in this vector space. So even, so that means divisible by two, so numbers like two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, positive, so that means greater than zero and whole numbers. So no decimals or fractions. So even positive whole numbers. So things like two, four would be in our set V, 10, two, things like that would be in our set V. But things that would not be in our set V would be things like the zero vector or also things like one, two. So I couldn't have any entries that are one. So neither of these would be in our set V because it requires that both of our entries are even positive whole numbers. So right there, you might be able to see a condition that would show that this is not a vector space. And you could certainly use that to show that this is not a subspace of R2. But I'm gonna focus on these two closure properties just to make sure that we're clear about what they are. All right, so when you think about additive closure, you wanna start with two vectors that are in the set. So I'm gonna say here, let's let x1, y1, and x2, y2 be in this set V. All right, so I'm gonna go back up here to this definition of what it means to be even or divisible by two and write that actually in a form that can be more useful when you're actually trying to prove things about even numbers. Divisible by two also means that it can be written as two times some other integer. All right, so let's go ahead and write each of these vectors that we said are in V in that form. So our X1, I'm gonna write as, I'm gonna use M and N here, two times M1 and two times N1 for the Y1 here, and two M2 and two N2, where the M's and N's are positive whole numbers. All right, and so if I add those two things together, what I wanna check is whether their sum is in the set or not. So let's just go ahead and add them. When I add two vectors, I just add their corresponding components. So I have two M1 plus two M2 in the first entry, two N1 plus two N2 in the second entry, and notice that I can factor a two out of those terms. And since we said that M and N are positive whole numbers, what I'm looking for here, notice that when I add two positive whole numbers, I will also get positive whole numbers. So those things that I highlighted here are gonna be positive whole numbers. So what I got when I added these two vectors in the set is another vector in the set because all of the entries can be written as two times a positive whole number. 
So this is also in the set B. So additive closure does hold. All right, so that means that the thing that has to fail is the scalar multiplication closer. Since they told us up here that the set is not a subspace, I know one of those two things has to fail. And there are actually lots of ways to show that something fails. When you're showing something fails, the easiest way to do that is with what's called a counterexample. So you're just looking for one example of something that makes it fail. So for example, I can let my scalar be negative one. And I could just take any vector in the set like two, four, or maybe even more simply two, two. Okay, so this scalar is in our set R and this vector is in the set V. But the product of them is not in the set B because these are not positive even whole numbers. All right, so that tells us that the scalar multiplication closure does not hold. So our set that we started here with is not a subspace of R2. All right, and notice when you're trying to show that something fails to be a vector space or a subspace, you really just have to find that one condition that fails. So if I thought through this a little bit, I don't even really need to show that this property holds because of the way this question is worded, if I can, through my mind, sort of think through which of these conditions is going to fail and realize that this scalar multiplication closure fails and goes straight to there, that would be a more efficient way to do this problem. So it's certainly not wrong to do the part that I drew an X through, but it's just maybe not the most efficient way to do this problem. So if I'm trying to show something is not a subspace, that's actually an easier question. You just have to find the one condition that fails and find the one example that you can come up with that easily shows that it fails and then you're done. If you're trying to show something is a subspace, that's much harder because you need to show that these things hold in general. And so you're going to be using variables and things like that. All right, we'll look at some more examples in the next video.